I like winning. I like being part of winning. I like being involved in winning and I like the attitude of winning. It was difficult. It, it took most of the enjoyment out of last year. In, in six weeks to eight weeks, it went from being what was an amazing first season as a new team, doing things everybody said we couldn't do, to, to being something that was starting to become, well, I don't know why I bothered. Obviously, I'd not been looking for sponsors because I didn't think I needed to. And uh, they left us massively in the lurch at the Tour of Britain last year, funnily enough. And it was difficult. The team nearly, nearly didn't carry on, but I'd committed to the guys. The guys committed to me, and we made a few adjustments. And I didn't want to end like that anyway, so I was, I was determined to try and carry on. And I need, but I needed the guys to be determined with me, and they all were. I offered everybody a chance to be released from their contracts because it wasn't going to be quite as I said it was going to be in terms of training camps and stuff like that. And everybody was like, no, no way, I'm staying. So they all backed me. Um, oh, it was crazy, really. I mean, the amount of people that just came up to us and after that, I didn't realise how big the race was and stuff, so um, yeah, it was mega for the team, obviously we got in jerseys like every day, so constantly on the podium as well, so it was massive for the team and getting the sponsors' names out there and obviously searching for sponsorship for the following year as well, so yeah, it's come off like, really well. I've got to be honest, at 25k I still didn't think it was going to go distance, I thought they'll get it. It was about 15k that I said to Harry in the earpiece, right, we need to start thinking the back of, uh, about the back of this because I think this might actually go all the way. So you need to start soft pedaling, but don't look like you are, and keep everyone working. And he um, he did a really good job. Yeah, it was a big goal for the year uh, to obviously um, to get that. It was I didn't think we were going to do it. You know, when we're halfway through, and then we sort of pulled it together towards the end, and uh, it was really tight in the, in the finish. But it was uh, we're glad we could do it. We were, everyone fully committed, and everyone gave 100%. So we couldn't really ask for much more. A good race, Max then rode really well in the next stage, got himself high up on GC. Unfortunately, he had a drama on stage three. He dropped a chain at the bottom of the climb, and on any other day, I think, if he got the chain back on, got to the top, there'd have been a bit of a gap, and we'd have got him back in. But because Cav had been dropped at the same time, two of the other big teams decided that that was it, they were gonna take it up, and they took it up really early, because they'd seen an opportunity to get down the road without Cav. So all of a sudden, we couldn't get Max back in, because he was in the Cav group, and no one would work. I've got a lot of people that volunteer around the team, around the edges, that do an awful lot of work for just love, basically. Love of the sport, love of the team, love of the process. And I think it was just that moment of elation when he crossed the line and, and knowing he'd won. It was just good for everyone to get that. And that momentum, I think, if I'm honest, I think we've then really carried that for the rest of the now. And we rode well, it was a, it was a good fight. It, it wasn't won easily. Um, and it came down to the last race because of the dramas we had at uh, Wembley. So I was playing the long game and uh, I think I said to Larry, oh, you know, I don't want the jersey yet. Yeah, we'll, we'll wear the jersey right at the end. And I was a bit tongue in cheek, but actually that's exactly what we did. And we ended up being on the back foot at uh, one point, we were massively in control at half distance, massively, we'd done the job. Then James managed to crash, and he's, he's a good bike handler, so he managed to crash and took two of my guys with him. And even if just him had crashed, it wouldn't have made any difference to the result. But because he took two with him, we were then in trouble. So they had to rejig, and they really showed some spirit to get it back right, and it literally came to the line. And um, yeah, I was really proud of the guys, but I was, I was really pleased for me. That's a highlight that actually was quite nice. It was a drama to finish with and you know, I had my family with me and it was just it was just good. I mean I know it's only the tour series and there's bigger races out there, but I love I love the tour series and I I really, really loved that moment. It was good. Bristol it was real close, like we could have lost it there. Um, but we, we, you know, we closed the gap of where we needed to close the gap to after Bristol and then that left one more round for Stockton. Stockton should have been a lot longer race 
Then there was two quite big accidents in the space of two miles. So they stopped the race. It was ages before both ambulances were there. Lucky no one was actually badly hurt, but they ran out of time for road closures. They had to massively shorten the race. It meant we went to the finishing circuit, having barely done a race, and everyone was fresh. So it became my worst nightmare, which was a fresh field bunch kick. We, we were slightly in trouble, and if it comes to sprint and it's a bundle in the last corner, quite frankly, anything can happen. It became a then and us, them and us. If we didn't have a full lead out or a full piece of control to really deliver it, all we had to do was beat Wiggins. Final two kilometres was all up in the air. Like the Wiggins had a, light, a lead out train and had myself, Max, and the whole team were, were trying to fight for that position um, to make sure we came to the line. So we did our job, we pulled off and uh, me and Max ended up sitting on the side, uh, the finish line on the opposite side to, to watch them come in and we all were cheering for, for Andy to, to get it. So When he got to the last corner and got slightly swamped, uh, rather than risk sprinting for second or third, which I think was on the cards, but not really know who was on your wheel and who might come round you and all that, he actually opted to swing into the Wiggins train and just make sure we beat Wiggins. I think these are, it's a good shot that we might go slip under the radar and uh, it, may, it may do something, like win a stage or something like that. Yeah, we've got some guys who can go uphill real well, so if they can hang in with the best in the world, then obviously it's real good for them as well in terms of their development to progress the bigger teams.